So we're gonna try mill turning this acrylic here. Now if you remember the last time I ever did mill turning, I used a three jaw chuck with this R8 taper here. So this shank part right here fit on the back side of this three jaw chuck and then I literally put that up into the spindle of the machine. Well, I didn't really wanna put that really heavy three jaw chuck into the machine because I think it threw it off last time. So this time I came up with the idea to go ahead and put this shank right here in the part that I'm gonna make. And this is exactly what my tool holders use right here. Chuck it up in there like a normal tool would be so it's a lot easier and I feel much safer for the machine. So my idea didn't work out as good as I thought it would. I mean, we got this far, which is probably good enough. I can probably make it work from here, but it still didn't do the parting operation, so I gotta get this off at some point. So what I thought was a really good idea to put this shank part on the end of it, like that, turns out it wasn't a good idea. Because as soon as it started getting a little bit of a chatter, then it would just break it off. It did that with both of them. Did it with that side too, with this one that never even barely got started. So I'm probably gonna go ahead and try this one too and just be a little bit more conservative on the feeds and speeds. So round two is going right now and it's actually pretty quiet, but I have this barrier up here. You probably saw that from before. I just got really scared because I thought this thing was gonna break off, which it did. But I just got really scared it was gonna fling out. So I put an extra barrier here. So I still have it here. So a smart person probably would have drilled this side first. So I have to drill this side for a 5 8 hole right here. But really, I should have just put the three jaw chuck in there, drill one side, and then come over and then profile it. So that would have been a lot easier, if that makes any sense. But oh well, we just have to make soft jaws now. So right now this 5 8 rod is sort of just like a slip fit right into the shifter handle. Well I don't want it to just be a slip fit, I want to be like a light press fit. So I'm going to go ahead and powder coat the piece that I just cut and hopefully that provides a better, better tight fit and it will probably put a little bit of super glue in there as well.
So machining that clear acrylic really wasn't that bad. It's not as bad as I thought it would be, but it was still a little bit rough starting out and I ultimately scrapped the piece, but it was kind of a test piece in progress, so I really wasn't out anything by the end of it. So after I mill turned it, I used that 600 grit sandpaper and then the 1500 grit sandpaper, and then I used the Meguiar's plastic polishing compound, and it took everything right out of it. It, it turned out really well. The steel insert was the hardest part because uh, it was a very, it was a tighter fit, but then I still wanted to put some type of adhesive in there, so I did that, and that made it look a little bit odd, and I couldn't polish the inside, the insert, where that insert went, I couldn't polish it, so it didn't look as good as I thought it would be, but I'm happy with how it turned out ultimately, and I, it's the first thing I ever did, anything like that, so it was a good test part, and I'm, I'm happy with it, so I think that's it for now, so thanks for watching.